of it is. Dude, I'm fine. She could sit there. Yeah, I'll call the meeting to order. First off, Pledge of Allegiance. Vaughn, you want to lead us? Allegiance to the flag of the Republic Oh, no. I know. Oh, so yeah, you can. It would be easier for you to look real for your phone. Yeah, come on over. You're over there in the far side. Here. Right here, Betty. Betty, you can either sit over there or right here. And yeah, over there. You have a sign up sheet, uh, Don. Don, do you have a sign up sheet? Okay. Is this the border, everybody? No, I'm talking about you want the guests to sign up or you want just the board? I'll, I'll we can put it on the same sheet. Okay. I don't see. So thank everybody for coming tonight. Got noticed. Do the roll call. Present. Yeah, he did it again. Yep. Present. And be easier if you change it. Frank, be easier if you change your name. I, I'll, yeah. It would be easier if you just. Kevin, I get to be Kevin a lot, so it'll be Kevin McHugh. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, just a bit of an explanation first and why we're here. We met with the uh, council last Monday and <clears throat> attempted to present um, the changes to the ordinance for their approval. And as a result, we ended up with uh, quite a few questions. Um, Don discovered afterwards that they had the wrong document. Uh, wrong version. They had the right document, wrong version. So it kind of complicated things a little bit. Uh, appreciate all the help uh, from all the folks that participated in trying to answer the questions. Um, what's interesting is a lot of what we did was reorganization. It wasn't changing specifications or verbiage or what a lot of his work Ed did with Don reorganizing the document plus what changes we made. And the table was probably the biggest example of uh, the changes we made. So with that, we took away um, quite a few notes, um, well, at least a page, page and a half. Does everybody have that, by the way? That's kind of the feedback from the meeting. So just put on there tonight, so you would have just seen that tonight. It's a new document. It's, it's uh, headed. Um, Very much in draft form. The draft, right? November 26th. Um, 
update regarding proposed zoning ordinance amendments. And that was, um, Brent reminded us today, I think, that um, we didn't have that in the packet. So I hope everybody has it. So the intent is to go ahead and go through the document. If you can visualize uh, the document we presented, which I call an iteration, had a lot of strikeouts and a lot of movement and a lot of red lines and a lot of red words and all that good stuff. And the intent tonight is to come up with a document that we want to put back in front of them next Monday for, the, for their second view and perhaps approval um, as our presentation. So it's the cleaned up document um, and not this marked up document. So what we'd like to do tonight is go through and and I want to move us through as fast as I can because I know you all got things to do and I know it's a it was a short notice meeting. So what I'd like to do is go through page by page. If there's not an issue on that page, let's move on. Okay. And all ten all intent are all said and done. Our intent tonight is to at the board to approve sending it back to the uh, council for their approval. Um we can talk about changes, but for the most part, I don't see a lot of changes, if any change. It's just understanding what the document looks like. We all agree, and uh, we vote to uh, go ahead and move it on to them for their uh, review next week. And again, I appreciate you all coming to short notice. The intent was to be, get that work done and get it back to them as soon as possible. So with that said, um, let's go ahead with the document. And I'm just going to go through page by page. If it's not an issue, then um, let's move on. Look, by the way, on table content, Don attempted to take the table content as it was, right, Donna? Yeah. Pretty much as it was and change the page number. So if anybody has seen an issue, uh, let's come back to that after we get through the document. Make sure we clean that up. Any formatting suggestions before the end of this meeting? see i'll try to get them correct well i say already brent brought up a point uh, i said rick if you look at the, the table of content shouldn't they start over again with each article well the existing document does not do that we discovered that it, it goes in line um our intent is not to change that format maybe there's something we take on as a project later on but um leave that alone and, and make sure it jives with with the page numbers so I'm moving on to page, which there is Article One General. Any issues on that page? And Don, I'll be looking to you to, you know, stop if there's if it's something that we're missing. Okay. Yeah, okay, moving on to page five. I'm moving right along, so stop me if you think I'm going too fast. Page six. Page seven. And again, uh, not to get off on a tangent, but um, I don't think the council understood that we reorganized, that we didn't change it. We reorganized it. There are places we did change, and, and they were made aware of that, but most of it was not changed. It was reorganized. Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to know, in the table of contents, as a result of the council's conversation, under L, under 13L, Article 4, 13L, I did add the language. It's previously said timber harvesting field, and now timber harvesting is no longer struck out, and it's and regulated by the Maine Forest Service added, and that was a result of their conversation. Thank you. And that shows up again in the text also. Page 9. 7. 7. I. This is where we're going to refer to in the table. Yeah, that's the, the height of the that's height. Yeah, it starts on six. Seventy five feet is on six uh double I. Yeah. That's the seventy five. Everybody understand that we're talking about um reference to seventy five foot setback and a hundred foot setback on non conforming structures and what the height a restriction is. That's and so that's double I, which is the 75 foot. And the next page over is 100 foot setback, which is the four. 
uh, top of the page, where it's 25 feet. And it's something we've we've talked about. In fact, we just had three cases that dealt with non-conforming properties being rebuilt and what the height restriction was done. It's just going to observe that. So when you get to the table, my reference back is just to Article 3C. So you want me to drill down more into specifically the... I would so specifically say um, C1... Double, uh, excuse me, C1, C, double I, and um, four. And that would. No, just a note on this. This is pretty much verbatim out of uh, chapter one, paragraph. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've had, Ed, we've had some cases recently that kind of missed it. And you had Don brought us back to. Okay. And we had three cases just recently that were non-conforming near the water um, in the last meeting. I missed it for one. Don yep. caught it before the meeting, the applicant missed it. So it was in the ordinance, it just wasn't called out. Hmm. And if you look at the table, it talks about 35 feet, so it, it kind of leads you down a long path. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's the general. Only about 20. So, Don, you're all set there? Where was I, nine? Anything on nine? Ten. Eleven? Twelve? Sixteen? Fourteen. Now we're getting into areas that we did change or did some subtle changes or major changes. So let's look at table one. Any issues with table one? Okay, I'm moving on to page 16, table two. You get down to the bottom of table two. Um, John and I discovered item 41. It talks about electrical generation projects. Um, there was some additional words there. Um, it didn't help. And do you remember what the words were? To the definition of essential services. Yeah. And if you go to the definition of essential services, the very last line in essential services, um, it, it's an exception. It says doesn't count uh, generators. So the the, ver the extra verge didn't help it any. It was it's from the definition. So all this is is a um, an item, electric generation projects. That simple, and that's that's not new. And the uh, I don't think the uh, the districts and who is assigned to is not new. It's just we took off that that last statement out out of the definition. Everybody understand? It's the last line. Back to the definition and look at good at um, definition of essential services included includes electric generation projects. But it wasn't called out anywhere. If you go to page fifty eight and you read essential services as a definition, talks about all the things it is and isn't. Very last line says additional excluded is the development of electrical generation projects. Additional excluded is the development of electrical generation project. That was sitting over there on that table next to item 41, electric generation projects. Didn't make sense. It didn't help, I guess, is a better way to put it. I don't know, it looks like we've still got uh, underlined font on 39 and 40 Yep. in the table. Thank you. We understand what we did there? Okay with it? All right, let's move on to page 15. I'm sorry? We can discuss this before now. I don't recall. Should there be a two at the end of that? Does that should that be referred out to a separate ordinance? Which I'm sorry, which one you're talking about? Uh, in table two, we just talked about 41. Uh, 41 electric generation projects. Have a footnote on it. 
similar to solar energy generating systems. Okay. All right. Uh... Footnotes above. Yeah, top of page 17. Top of 17. Oh, top of 17. Oh, two, two separate standalone ordinance for these items. You're on three. Page 42, 16. The definition for No, and uh, when we did all that, we need one, and kind of a low priority. But that was one of those we've been working on definitions off and on, and this is one that we needed to find. But what is it in your mind? Well, I thought more like the generator down by Fast Eddie. That's a pretty major project. I think it's for water pump. Fuel pump. Oh, do we need this one? All. Well, we were having when Don and I discussed it. We we were having trouble with what's an example of that. That's the best one I can come up with. So is there something in the future that would require this category? We didn't know. So there's there's not a lot of them. I don't I'm not aware of any of them in Maine, but down in New Jersey and New York in larger metropolitan Politan areas, they've got projects, plants they call peaker plants. And so they're designed to come online. It's a battery generating system for electricity, it comes on at peak periods of demand. Uh, so at some point, you may see something like that in Maine. That would, that would likely they help out with definition. the, if there's a shortage of generation? Yes. Yeah. The so, backups, what they are. And, and it may be a combination of that and, um, Propane or fossil generators, so a small, small generation station. And that's what we were thinking about. But <laughs> you're talking utility level. Oh. Uh, grid level, but not necessarily utility. Okay, grid yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you had a the local distribution industry that hospitals can generate? Probably fall. Yeah, I agree. Oh, are we okay with leaving that the way it is and, and realize we got to do some work with it? Is that okay? All right. Um, the question was about a note. No footnote on that, correct? Pardon? That's what I'm hearing. All right. Ready for 17, table three? On table three, on top of 17, um, those are all the numbers. We got rid of all the striking and, and labeling and all that. Made it simple. Um, one question that we were talking earlier about was adding a bullet three underneath that table, referencing the non-conforming setbacks for 75 and 100 foot so that it would it would enhance this table you'd have to go reference it and see what the words are but it's and it's not in the table per se but it's a non-conforming situation and it kind of helps with what don had to remind us about here in the last couple of weeks about the, the two scenarios um i think i would suggest not bother breaking that in because this is dimensional requirement. We're coming in and building something non-conforming. It's not going to be building. It's existing. You know, 
when you're looking at the ordinance, it's the fact that on, on conforming structure regulations, this is no longer. I guess what we wrestle with what what physically happened in the last couple of months. We had projects that some of us missed it. Don brought it to our attention. Yeah. Um, we could have misled. We were misleading the people. I think the, the applicant applicants were misled. Some, somebody. Oh, for the high requirement. Yeah, we're, we were looking at the 35, and it should have been 25 or 20. Right, okay. Those yeah, exactly. That's what, yeah. Well, that's the only thing we're trying to do is to just kind of help the process. Well, okay. Now, yeah, that, that's a case where uh, there are other places where it might be more stringent. Maybe maybe that is worth looking at. I think the height is really the only one. That's all it is. That's all we're it's trying to do. the only about. one that... That's the only thing we wanted to mention earlier. You can read the table now. <laughs> Basically, it was saying article, article, excuse me, in sub note three, see article 2C for graduated height allowance for non conforming structure. That's simple. Are you okay with that? That's what you hand me this far. Okay, thank you. So you're going to make that addition. Correct. One thing, the other one we discovered is the two notes, one and two, they're already there, have been there. How do you get to them? I, I looked at the old ordinance and it's not there. If you look at the sub notes on that table three, E1 and setbacks for public and uh, impervious area. We had, usually sub notes go to some place as a reference. At least these were just these weren't sub notes; they were notes. I looked at two two previous copies; are not there. To go to to go to see the thing. Yeah, but again, if you look at the table, there's no it doesn't get you down there. The sub note. That's all. Normal structure on subnote. You have a, a number up in the table where it refers to it. Under the title Road Street, under the header Road Street, it's got a oh, it's one on it. Do you see it? Why don't I see it? Straight next to the street, the T in street. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Right. That's the one. Now, where's the two? Right. Two. For here. Furby's in columns. Furby's five. I see them down below, yeah. And that's a, that's where they apply. Okay, so um, put them in there and see. Well, if that's a consistent, what Don was was toying with is where it says thirty-five um, resource protect uh, resource protection, shoreland, stream protection, public water. Those would have threes next. To them, the thirty-five is. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. So that's what we'll do, Don. We'll put three next, just like you had it, just like you had it. She she's worked up a a version of it. And she's got a three. Okay. Thank you very much. Straightening that out. Anything else on that table? Jump in. You you're here to assist us with this, and we're on the page. To hear you, what you're asking. Do you want a microphone? Because I, I sound like, no, not now, but at the meeting. Anyway, what's your question? Because I wanted to answer it. No, the question.
Between the back, right? Well, I know there was a lot of work done in front yard here and one of the bags of things that was ultimately run over was to the DPS building. We actually got the board comprehensive plan adopted after the work started and was taken to the lot five and six that would be in the old water district. So all of those had been prepared for us. And the their districts that were technically for but the comprehensive plan said we want it, we want more density there. Part of the work that the board did included increasing density in those areas. So at that time we were committed to construction in order to not throw the baby out with the bathwater because we wanted the road density to be change permanently to the lower the density. I remember it. Not that we're not going to do it at all, but the board was not prepared to do that yet, I guess is the best answer I can give you. And by incorporating, my recollection is, and by incorporating the references to the LD, we've increased density in other zones other than the resource protection zones by allowing clusters or not necessarily clusters, but small, tiny houses, those types of things. There's more work to be done. Okay. I, I, Super in favor of reducing density in houses. In a residential is like 40 what the 40 is thousand square foot. Just just the newer technology is subsurface. Along the six foot push down. Street is the timing things are about a little and, and I get, I get I know there's some talk about the so Mark, where would you suggest we change? What would you change it to? Next. That's the obvious one to you? Yep. I don't know. Right now, you're proposing a change to without sewer, general residential to 30,000. So it matched with sewer. I think if you guys want to go through with what you're doing and know that we're going to have to change it, well, if it's one item, um, it behooves us to do it. Well, I mean, vote on it, I guess is a better way to put it. If, if it's a wholesale look at it, then yeah, I would recommend we wait and go to it wholesale. You've already had it. Okay. Leave it alone. Yeah. Prioritize it. So let's make a note. Let's make a note that that's, that's a desire and bring it back to board as one of our working points. Pat? Me. Yes. Um, would, I would love to have both of you participate in that process when we have that. Mark, if you could help us with that when we're ready to do that, would appreciate it, as well as Pat. 
Okay. So you okay, you okay with that then? That approach? Anything else on that page? Still run. You have that on? You have that point? No. That's another point, village. Oh, in the village, yes. Yeah, Without sure. Okay. It was just blank. Okay, so that should be blank then. There's no minimum lot size? Zero or blank? Zero, no lot. Zero oh. lot size. I mean, I don't know. That could have been the case, but I just think it was. We all agree that should be blank. Okay, other items on 17. 18. Hearing none, 19. Mark, you had something? Yeah, desk manager. Hay bales, they're there, they're, they're graded. Um, hmm. This is the time to run. February, February 19th, this is John McLean coming back from Maine DEP for his 1.6. So welcome to come to it. Does it? December 19th, be a Thursday. Encourage anybody on the board, even the Board of Appeals, to go to this class. And if you're outside of our agency, and I can get you in, but I'll talk to you later in the week. Tom, can you get that on our radar? Can we talk about the next meeting? Tuesday, 8 to 3 ish. Not a little bit later, lunch is served. It's a good day. It really goes over all of the best management practices and how to vision to stroll in. So that's where the stroll in. Zoning erosion control certification. Not to get off on another tangent, but uh, slope control using mesh back slope control is that in that old? Very rarely. It's not here. I'm asking a general question. Slope control. Uh, Depending on the scope of the slope, but ECM, which is erosion control mulch, is the best by far. Okay, so that's in the that's in the program. Yeah, that's it. That's we will talk a lot about ECM. We talk about silt fences. Hay bales work, but they don't because things go under it. It's it can be a third device. Sat, Sat, I know that you uh, you've given me a book. Yep. Which they took out on the yep. control. Does the public get one? Uh, they will get one, and I have them also. It really goes over the best management practices. That's a term we really need to use. Because what you think looking from here at a site may not be the best thing, you know. So to tell to tell a contractor you need to use hay bales, it's not necessarily the best advice because they could get there and go, you know what? I'd rather use a two foot, by eighteen foot. I mean, a two foot by eighteen inch drum of ECM. I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy. We just had three applications for non-conforming. That, that, yep. that slope control would have been ideal application for fixing their problem or helping with their problem. ECM would work, and that's if they are certified contractors, then they will. And I also can mandate that. Also, I'm talking long term. I mean, not not just for construction long term. And and these are bare areas that viable options. The ECM turns into an organic material matter the dust layer at the bottom of the forest and 
create such a phenomenal um, planting. You know, you can plant so much. A lot of my life, I made it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and and part of my life, I used it, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Saw something really quick. They're talking about doing a lot more live staking in on the shoreline. So that's an interesting little initiative. Live staking, like literally take a tree and stick it in the ground. That's what we're using. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get us next on. Slope wrap is turning the water warmer. That's why they're trying to get away from. I just want to um, make an observation. So on page 19, we were just talking about a few of these things. Because one of the things the council brought up was um, regarding having a different They thought they were concerned that maybe that was onerous, but that was only moved. It's art. It was already in the ordinance. It was just relocated. So it's the same. We're going to make that point in the notes to them for their meeting next week. You make my best efforts. I'll be here for that. Thank I'll you. let them understand that it's not an option. It's not an option. Mandated. It's not. It's mandated. Necessary. DEP. Anything else on 19? That would be where we are. This is the latest, right? Yes. You can borrow this part. Like it back. When I say 19, I, I know you got to go between yours, but they're pretty close. But this is what we're talking from right now. That help? So 19 goes from nuisance conditions, parking spaces. You got anything on 19? She's above news. Should be. Or else she's from the news. Is we can do it, it doesn't need to be three. That's right. Come to that class on the 19th, talk to John McLean. I'll say. Once they get the head up, they really should. They should look at it every day until when grass is growing. Yeah, if you get if you get storm events, those types of things where the silt fences can fail and start to fill up. But they don't have to. N no, they sh don't have to be there. Yeah, Time to get contract. I I will tell you, I push with my class to have contractors and the, the nail pounders to get certified. Because they're every day. They're there every day. So why not get certified? You can be that person. They're there till the grass is growing anyway. So I, getting them to show up. They have to take the test. And I've had a few. I've had a few. I was at a site today, and I've watched that site since day one. And the, 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 the nail pounder was a fellow that he, he was the contractor that presented to us a uh, night for the application for the owner. The owner was online, but but um, I'm impressed with what he knows and does and and how he's how he's managing it. And that's what that's the model you want. That's the model we want all said and done. So that's what we're trying to get to. When you take the class, you'll see you guys come to the class. EMPs are not rockets. Stop the earth from going into the lake. Here's the best things to do it. 19. All right, we're moving on to 20. <clears throat> Anything on 20? 21. 
This is all parking. 23 or 22? 23? No, none of this. Just make sure, like, reference cross reference and things, you know, internally if there were any hopefully. 24? 25. Was there any questions about signs at the, at none? Okay. Must have been our meeting. 26? 27? Mobile home parks? 28? Twenty nine. Pat? Two or two development, cluster residential development starts. We're looking which page? This is uh, page twenty eight. D, C, 2C actually, 2C. Yep. It says, shall be 10,000, in parentheses, 2,000 square feet. And then 1,500 is okay, right? It's the 10,000, 2,000, which one should it be? We're going to fix that? Intend to. Right? Yeah, yeah 2000. Yep. You heard Ed? Don? Change the 10 to 2. Thank you. Cool. That was probably in the old one, wasn't it? 28? I'm moving to 20. Wait a minute, I got turned around here. 27, 28, 29. On three. Eight thousand. I closed. Yeah. I did. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah, that one. The one in your left hand should be right. Because you made that comment, I did correct. Thirty-one. I'm sorry. Multi-family home. Oh, you're back on C. That was prior. Well, change to two. That's what I was in my chart. Thirty-one campsites. Pat, you were in the campsites. Keep us out here. Once you get over the 
case is now about the they cannot meet the setbacks for a single year round dwelling. Why? Nope, they move right off in the winter. Here for the summer and gone in the winter. Yeah, and they're diligent about putting it on, taking it off. That yes. that time frame, it's amazing. Campground now. Follow the rules and regulations for the campground. And here, this may be the Right. Oh, no, you this or just like I was like, yeah, they're going to. The campground, any premises established for overnight use for two or more parties. The purpose of temporary camping, including but not limited to tents, recreational vehicles, other shelters. Not an individual private camp. Wow. Under individuals. Where there's a definition for that? Yeah. Right, yeah. What's it under yeah. individual? Actually regulated by DHS health engineering and state health inspectors do campgrounds. Go to page sixty. Visits, I'm sure visits me quite often. Not as bad. Ed shared with me page sixty one individual private campsite an area of land which is not associated with a campground but which is developed for repeated camping by only one group not to exceed ten individuals which involves site improvement which may include, but not limited to, a gravel pad, parking area, fireplace, or tent platform. I did look at the state regulations because we were from out to them and they were clear. But 
think about Well, we know now. about that right here tent platform shall be set back 100 feet horizontal distance from the normal model now, i think we're talking about enforcement we're talking about compliance we're talking about uh, something illegal uh, and we're talking about enforcement and or planning board review i mean all those Two. Pardon? Me. that's his job you will, you could. I mean, it could come to you. Okay, uh, 31. What are we going to do? I believe there is one. All right, 32. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Um, you got thirty-five. Yeah, we're talking about four thousand, uh, forty thousand square feet. Potential per dwelling unit within shoreland zone, but go back to the table. Uh, table three. Well, it's saying 80 without sewer, so this is. Rarely do you have sewer on the shoreland. About lot, lot size? Yeah. Well, it's not really, not really a conflict, but it's uh, sort of a little bit misleading because without sewer, that 40 is going to be 80. Are you saying it should say without sewer? With sewer, rather? Well, I guess just raising a question is. They're going to be again sort of misleading, like the 35 foot height thing. One place it says this says blanket 40 there, it doesn't specify in the table without sewer again, which probably the majority of shoreland, shoreland zones are going to be. Well, should there be a note there that says with sewer? 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess maybe uh, is that a big problem doing that? Or? Uh, we're just confirming what the table already says, right? Okay. Agree, everybody? All right. So uh, we'll put a parentheses after that saying uh, results. In fact, probably all three categories right there would be minimum would be 80 according to the table. Minimum would be 80 for all three of those. Without the two. Well, when I read that, I... It was clear what A was, and then B went off to a specific application, sees a specific application. Right. The, it, table, the table doesn't really break down. Uh, those two. B and C. Doesn't break down those at all. Yeah. Uh, so it was <laughs> not congruent. <But> like, <laughs> I, I think if I was to take a quick interpretation of that, I'd say, well, that AD applies across the board here. That was two. Just want to reiterate. So on page thirty-five, reference to lot size, or with sewer, we're going to add a reference to six feet. What what I hear Ed saying on page thirty-five, on the uh, where you say forty thousand, sixty thousand, forty thousand, those are without with uh, with sewer, right? Yes. So if it applies to all three of them, why not just put in parentheses on minimum lot area? Right underneath it, they all apply. But, okay, yeah. Three different Rather than do three different places, just put it underneath yeah. the, the header. That makes sense? Are we okay with that? Okay. Where were we? 37? What? Oh, no. 36, yeah, yeah. I was, I was pretty good up till that one. I was kind of still. You're on 37. Besides the head, my mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 37? Well, this is about that. 38? Thirty-nine. Audi. Pat. What page you on? Page thirty-eight. Where does this take me? I have no jurisdiction to put that. Well, state does not find sense. I mean, if you get out into the Navajo water, I don't know. Did the morning committee come up with anything on talk lengths or okay? Okay. Yeah, that, we took that right out of chapter one thousand. We didn't. We didn't. The only reason, the only thing we didn't have, consider it a public. Page 40. Page 41. Forty two. Forty three. Forty four, forty 
45. Now we're getting administrative stuff on 46. Could I, could I raise a, just a quick question? Please, it just come to mind looking at the top of uh, page 44 and numerous other places. There were, there were a lot of citations in here that were were prior to the reorganization. Did all of those get changed? Didn't be, but then the citations were part of the list. In our in our ordinance, yeah. I I did. They haven't been since the proof list. So I attempted to help you on that. Did you find any of them? Uh, I I don't know. I didn't check them again. But I was looking right at the top of page forty four. The C it says uh, standard section fourteen D fourteen G. Well, I I I put a lot. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. What section we're in? Uh, are we citing the right section? They should. Just until someone tells me. Oh, they are. I tried. Okay. I, went, I didn't check them. No, I didn't. Moving check. right along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> want to raise that question. Thank you, Ed. Because there's kind of a key when somebody gets yeah. picking one of these apart and then they're citing a look, place. That we look right. forward to that, the feedback. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, In this section, we did make a change about the the appeals process. If it was a setback issue, we it's the appeals board first and then us second. That's in here, right? Okay. Any application also requiring a variance that uh, they'll receive oh, DBA yeah. approval prior, and that was a big debate we had. They very, yeah, they spelling typo and resorting board of appeals. Yeah, thank you. you get SSL shall receive so the last word appeals. Not great. <laughs> Forty nine. Fifty. Fifty one. Well, others didn't change anyway, right? Yeah. Fifty two. Fifty three. Fifty four. Fifty five. Now we're going into definitions. Nothing. Oh, I put on the agenda tonight was that we had talked about adding a want to have that on the agenda with other changes at a different level. These discussions just moving the different boiling zone and saying short errors. Small thing and it may be irrelevant, but when Brent and I were trying before the meeting, we were trying to go from the notes. Um, and at the time we were doing the exercise around the table of content and we were trying to trying to find campsite, and Ed Ed showed us where it was individual private campsite. Um, the definition. Yeah. Come from the verbiage. That, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's my point. Individual. If you move it. That's not a. 
Oh, you could just say campsite and say reference individual private campsite. I, to me, that would be that wouldn't change anything. It's just a reference. That makes sense. So what I'm proposing is under on page uh, 55 near campground, you'd put down campsite and then reference individual private campsite. But we weren't changing it. It's just it's another note to get there, I guess. That okay. All right, uh, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. It was interesting to me to find the table for lake heights or water body heights and the definitions. Been there forever, I would say, but. Mark, information reference. I now know, I now know where to go find it. <laughs> it's the number that, that's the number that they use when they're doing um, the land security. They have to bring it up to floodplain code. That's the one foot above that level. Whatever body of water. Right. We just had three of those. Same meeting. Three hundred years. <laughs> hundred years. Yeah. Three one hundred years. Yes. They're not performing. Yep. Yeah. One of the things we we were questioning is the flood wall. Sixty one. Sixty two. Sixty three. Sixty four. Sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, last but not least, sixty nine. Do, do we even need volume of structure anymore? No. On that page well, sixty eight. Instances where we'd be looking at old applications, or is there any instances where that would be needed? If we, were looking at Not, we don't want anything new. I mean, there's some cases that are out there that did use volume, but I don't know that we we're not ever going to use it. But yeah. I mean, you can leave it. It's not going to hurt. Yeah, I mean, it's not hurt anything. Way it. My quick story: I made a I made a uh, a, a spreadsheet that had the calculations in it. For every time I changed a dimension or an angle or a slope, it would automatically upgrade my thirty percent. Volume is horrible, and I had to do volume and square footage on my property. So I just I have to depart. I have a quiz I got to go take. Thank you, Mark. And you're going to try to make it Monday night. All right. You're going to try to make it Monday night. Okay, uh, that completes our review of the documents. You have the, you have the minor changes, right? And I'm for meeting on Monday. If there are non-substantive changes, so now's the time to poke holes in it, like you can see, like the formatting errors and stuff. Doesn't, you know, make sense. As long as it's not too much. Those changes can still be incorporated, so. Anything that we need to add, um, they, can, they can still be added. Okay. Thank you. I thank Pat for participating tonight. Ed, also, thank you very much. I'll entertain a motion uh, to um, approve this going back to the council for second look next Monday night. Memo, not quite memo format, but just how I rise things in there. Chairman, I'll make a motion to uh, accept any of the edits that we made tonight and move the zoning ordinance back on to the town council for their review. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Vote. Vote. 
You're welcome to come. What's that? You're welcome to come Monday night. I don't know. I might. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Get it on. We're getting there. Yeah. No, it's uh, getting close. They they tabled it and um, he kept it on there. So I said I'm giving the money to Anthony. Town Council. Yeah. Based on no. the numbers. Have to go on thousand. Okay. Long. Go on. So memo? the memo in front of you. This is a. This is the draft, November twenty sixth. Yeah, I started to summarize what had happened at the meeting, and then here are the oh. things that were addressed. And basically, um, I wanted to know if there was clarity. In this. this is just a bold memo. This one here. That's So I just put a couple sentences saying at the meeting. Here are the things that were discussed. The liquor was legal. And then I really didn't draw it to give any I'm not saying anything about it. I really want to make sure. Know they're looking at the job. We want to put a right hard copy on there, and then we want to put this set of notes that's been generated so that they understand. You responded to their questions. Matt, gone through it page by page, pushed it wherever, and did away with the like we did tonight, strikes, red, red line, all that. The expectation effort where we moved it, get rid of all that. Looks like it's going to work. That's what I'm going to tell them Monday night. Talk to them. Does he answer your question? Basically, a lot of it was removed, restructured the ordinance, worth we're a change. So it should be all right. Right. Or to approve it. Tell us. Now, how is them wanting to change it? We're presenting to them that we're rethinking. The uh, overall tone of the meeting, how did they, how did they receive the document or the question was? I think I don't think they I don't think they had a preview, <laughs> and I think they were going through it that night. If, if that's the question you're asking, that's my sense. And they were throwing questions at us, um, and, and and Pat Pat was asking questions. She had probably the longest list of questions. Anybody, most of them were individual questions from the person on the. That had the most comprehensive. That's why I hope you don't mind. I asked her to sit with us and wait, get it done, so that um, she may still have some issues with things we haven't done, but she understands why we did what we did, and should be a help. I think should be a help. No, no, no. She was a public. She's a realtor. I knew that part. You get real world experience in some of these. Yeah, things. that's exactly yeah. it. Um, and uh, I want to say, uh, so uh, 
I think I asked Dawn to invite her tonight, make sure she came and helped us, if she could, as well as Ed, uh, to help us. No, well, I guess the only thing um, I was going to suggest is if the town council starts picking at things again, sort of like they did last year. I really don't know how to talk about it. Again, a lot of what they pick out is what they want. But it is as chapter, as chapter 1000 requirements, we can't back off. Whether you have to do that on a case by case basis, like you did here, raise that question. Is that 1,000? Change it. Yeah, and and that's it. A lot of a lot of that was that chapter 1,000. That's why we actually had to do the reorg because as we took our ordinance. Kind of adopted chapter 1000 on almost verbatim, and that's why we ended up with some duplication of language, some language over here that should apply universally, and so forth. And in that shuffle, then I actually dropped out of those categories. That I'll start with that. I'll start with that feedback. Your Honor. Provide one copy. Chapter 1000 that was about 50 pages. Yeah. Like, uh, then I would say each one. 50. Okay. But didn't hyper that. The what applies to what? One of it is back with our words. We didn't even think weren't even changed. There were questions. I think it was confusing. I'm glad. Let's move on to the agenda. Um, FOAA, you want a reminder there? From the second to the fourth, then on the fourth, I believe, provide the description of the beginning and then have the media center there.
on your sign out before. That's what she's talking about. Right Thirty-two six. The uh, just. How many folks can make? How many folks can make the Monday night? Uh, other business? Thank you, Ed. Appreciate it very much. Holidays, Ed. See you again. Um, any other business? Entertain a motion to adjourn. Chairman will make a motion to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? All in favor? <laughs> Opposed? all these dates. <laughs>